Hi guys, welcome to my coffee show. My name is Jack and today we're going to do a pour over again. Today we're going to compare two of my uh, great grinders and we will check which one grinds better and tastes better for the pour over. So in the right corner, my lovely red Commandante C40 MK4, the newest edition. Lots of people, lots of people and lots of coffee experts still, so many years after it was uh, first created, still uh, consider this to be the, the, the standard, the gold standard of the, of the grinders for the pour over. Uh, so it contains conical 39 millimeters burrs, uh, some kind of a special high nitro steel, uh, special geometry of the of the burrs that supposedly should create the best flavor profile. I've tried it for uh, espresso. Uh, if you haven't seen one of my previous videos, that was a disaster. I almost threw it away. I couldn't look for at it for a few weeks, but now I thought, well, pour over is what this grinder is, is, has been created for. So we will test this against my DF64 with SSP multipurpose burrs. Lots of controversies with those SSP multipurpose burrs. If you go into the uh, coffee for us, you can find the the opposite uh, arguments. SSP multipurpose great for everything. SSP multipurpose only great for espresso. Or SSP multipurpose only good for pour over and terrible for espresso and so on and so on. I, I really like it for espresso. I have a niche as you can see over there and that creates a different texture, different flavor profile. For the clarity, I often choose DF64, but we're not talking about uh, espresso. We're talking about the pour over. Again, in one of my previous videos, I compare Niche with uh, DF64 for a pour over and the results were interesting. If you haven't seen, maybe I will leave some links in the description. If you just begin your coffee adventure, you are excused, but otherwise everybody knows about DF64. There is no person who's been in coffee for a, a year or, or more that does not recognize at least the name DF64. The name, by the way, in the UK is Solo. That's the Solo grinder. Some places they call it Turin uh, Giotta, I think, as well. Anyway, DF64, 64 millimeters flat burst. And as I mentioned, those are uh, upgraded SSP burst. Obviously, electric grinder, hence the, the size difference, the electric grinder has to accommodate the engine. Wow, Jack, the engine in electric grinder, that's, the, that's something new. Just for that information, it was worth uh, clicking on your video. Yeah, there is an electric uh, motor. I think it's 250 watts of power. RPM are around 1,400. I, I said about the size, this one is about 7 kg in weight. So it's not the heaviest grinder. This one with a glass jar, it's around 630 grams. Possibly that the, there is another jar uh, included, a plastic one. So I guess it probably would be a bit lighter. This one, this is stationary <laughs> grinder. This one you can take everywhere. Unfortunately, the supplier does not give you much in the box. And that's a ridiculously big box. So here you would expect a lot. Please don't, please don't. There is not much. There is a grinder, two catching cups, one plastic and one glass, uh, some stickers, wrapping papers, some uh, manuals, that's it. So no brush, no carrying case. I would really like to, obviously you can buy a third party carrying cases, but for the grinder that you, you, you want to take with you somewhere, I would like to see, especially for the price, I would like to see a, a carrying case. Talking about the price, depending where you are in the world, but this one I paid £215 here in UK. You can find more expensive hand grinders, but there's a lot of very good hand grinders like K-Max that are, are a bit cheaper. For this one, I paid 400 pounds okay but that was a 400 pounds with the standard item mill bears not bad bears by the way but obviously as a person who never who's never happy with what he's got 
I had to upgrade this to uh, SSP. So the SSP bursts, well, depending where you buy, uh, it's sometimes it's difficult to get. So those shops, uh, they sometimes put the prices up, but let's say 200 pounds for the bursts. Uh, another thing that you probably should get for this grinder. This is kind of unfinished product. So I strongly recommend to get the, the few uh, possibly 3D printed modes. So that's that thing that brings the catching cap closer to the shoot. There is a grind indicator. There is that plastic anti-popcorning thing here. I talked about this this grinder so many times that I was almost like I'm repeating myself. It's the same mantra that my zero was not where the zero should be. And I struggled to find the zero. But now when I change the uh, burst to SSP burst, suddenly miraculously zero is where it should be. So the original grind indicator is a kind of a plastic thing that you won't be able to see here. Originally with Itamil Burst, that my zero was well beyond the zero on the scale of the grinder. With the SSP Burst, the zero is pretty much where the zero should be. So slightly beyond zero, maybe a few millimeters. Uh, but it's, it's, it's basically as it should be. Lots of people ask me the questions. Have you aligned this? Have you aligned that? I mean, I haven't yet. I mean, uh, assuming that the bottom burr I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm kind of ignorant. Assuming that the bottom bar is, is aligned and you don't have to put any shims, there are three positions for the top bars because there are three bolts inside. So you can rotate it one, two or three, three points. So you have a 33% chances that your bars are already in the best possible position. Uh, and you know what, I'm, I'm a lucky guy. I took, I took my chances. One day I will. I, to be honest, I, I tell you something, I, I put, I couldn't find the proper marker and then I used the, the permanent marker and the, the, it was not coming off at all. I, I oh no, nah, no, nah. I, I, one day I will, I, I promise you, one day I will, please don't criticize me. Let's be an optimist for one, there are 33% chances uh, that I'm, I'm already on the right spot. As you can see, by the way, I, I'm already on my third coffee today, so that's why I talk a lot. If we're talking about the retention, with the, the bellow, there is no issue with the retention here. And I never had any issues with the retention on this grinder, so I won't be measuring that today because it's always pretty much 0 or 0 0.1. For this one, to change the settings, you have to use that black plastic click. You have to do multiple rotations, especially when you choose uh, coffee for pour over, for example. I always struggle with multiple rotations. I never know where I am. It's not impossible. It's not that difficult. It's just me, okay? I'm, 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 I'm not the sharpest person in the world. So I always struggle with those rotations. I, I always lose the track where I am. For the espresso, the first few clicks are, are difficult to distinguish. Um, then for the pour over, I never remember which rotation I am. So, but it's it's not as difficult for a normal person. <laughs> if you use it for a pour over, once you find your range, you may stay there. Yeah, you, you may regulate click here, click there, but you may stay there. Today I'm on the uh, setting 21, so 21 clicks on the DF64. We will start with around 43. Coffee, we have to use some coffee, I guess, yeah, for the pour over. You've seen that coffee before on the channel. That's a bean coffee roaster. If you ever have a chance to get this coffee, do it. It's naturally an aerobic uh, processed coffee. If you like fruity coffees, possibly it's the, the, the fruitiest coffee I've ever tasted. It's tasting notes, strawberries, cherries, passion fruit, uh, and Nutella. There were points where espresso using this coffee on my La Pavoni was almost too fruity. Can you imagine? We are using my double uh, V60. The recipe, as I always use, I think I stole it from, the, from Lance. 15 grams of coffee in, 250 grams of water. Uh, I will use the water temperature 98 degrees. First will be a blooming phase. So I will put 45 grams of water and wait for two minutes. I may agitate a little bit, then I add the entire whatever is left, 205 grams of water in one go. 
I will start high again to cause to cause some agitation then I will bring the stream lower then we will we will brew I may stir it I may I may swell it but otherwise that's the process I'm aiming for similar time of extraction I mean I won't be very anal about that 20 seconds difference I can accept but if it's more than that I will have to redo it so let's use Comandante first so you may hear my barista kettle. Uh, so 15 grams of coffee in. By the way, it's, a, it's always a good time to click uh, like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel. I will also put some affiliate links in the description if you want to support the channel. I will earn a small commission from from few things. You don't have to buy exactly what I'm showing, but if you click on those links and then you buy something, I may get a small commission. You pay a normal price. So thank you very much. Even though the handle is relatively short the grinding especially for pour over is a pleasure here so it's no problem with, even with the lighter uh, roasted coffee it's still no effort okay, it took 30 seconds 30 seconds so with each grind is better and better and it's as you can see it's pretty much pretty much clean sometimes that coffee can get into the into the grooves here it took two and a half around two and a half minutes of the extraction uh, the coffee beds uh, i mean i've seen worse uh, two and a half is a kind of a i was kind of hoping for free but i think i will move solo to 40 to 45 settings so it, it runs a bit faster the smell of fruits in the air oh my god put it in here on the on the solo it took about 10 uh, ish 11 seconds to grind that 15 grams my god it grind it smells so so wonderfully so let's see if this one is ready and then we will make uh, the one from uh, solo such a fruity, such a fruity smell from the cup. It's almost like if it wasn't the coffee, you know. Passion fruit, cherries. It's a hint of bitterness. No sourness whatsoever. No, no. It's just a very, very fruity. Cherries, passion fruits, definitely. I don't taste strawberries. I mean, the strawberries are more in a smell. And now, now it's a bit sweeter. The, the one thing that was lacking, this cup was lacking, was, was sweetness. Now it's cooler, it's a little bit sweeter. Zero sourness. I think I'm tasting that Nutella now. So almost every flavor notes I can taste, uh, apart from the, the strawberries, really. Uh, so that's a DF64. It was running very fast. And then, again, you see those fines. So maybe I should really check the alignments of the burst. Those fines uh, clog the, the filter at the end. So it took um, about 20 seconds longer than a, than a Commandante. So I will quickly pull one more shot on a Commandante on the settings number uh, 19. I don't, I'm not getting the, those sweet uh, aromas uh, smell that I got from the from the Commandante cup. So there is a sweetness. It's, it's, I, it's, it looks like this cup from the, the DF64, it lost something. I'm getting the Nutella and I'm getting sweetness. Hint of the passion fruit, but I lost lots of fruitiness in this cup. Maybe a touch more sourness let it cool down a little bit but so far the commandant was, was better i'm getting more like a tea tea kind of smell like a sweet a little bit more sweetness now but a kind of a sweet tea it's a very delicate cup of coffee but it's not as good as the commandante maybe it was a fluke we will taste is it ready yeah so now we taste the Commandante that took a little bit longer, took around um, around three-ish minutes, similar to to uh, DF64. Okay, so let's try the second cup from the Commandante. So now the extraction times are pretty much the same. 
So I was just to remind you 45-ish on the DF64 and uh, 19 on the Commandante. So that's the second cup. Let's taste it. Okay, so it looks like uh, that uh, shorter extraction, that two minutes and something, developed um, more uh, fruity flavors. That longer extraction uh, developed some more deeper uh, uh, flavors. But still, this one smells better, more inviting, more interesting. No sourness here and no bitterness. There was a little bit uh, more bitterness in the DF64. Hints of cherries, uh, hints of uh, passion fruit. There is only one winner here today. I'm sure you will argue with me and please do leave your comments. Uh, I did the Commandante second time just for the, just for, so the extraction times are similar. The first one was better, but even the second uh, cup of Commandante, it's better than the DF64. So today's winner, surprisingly, today's winner, DF64 versus Commandante. This is a Commandante. Well done. Well done, Commandante. I lost a fate in this grinder when I was grinding for espresso. But wow, it's really good. It's really good for the pour over. OK, sometimes it's a fluke, you know, sometimes it's the right coffee, right settings, right water temperature. So you can play, you can adjust. So the first cup was better than the second cup from Commandante. But even the second cup was better than the cup from DF64. Yes, we could pull multiple cups of the DF64, but you know what, especially when tasting a pour over, you very quickly lose the, 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 the sensation in the tongue and everything kind of tastes the same. Not saying that DF64 was a bad coffee, it was a very, very nice cup of coffee. With Commandante, we managed to discover the flavor notes, okay? looks like a faster extraction was better for this particular coffee but we managed with each cup we managed to discover more with uh, commandante than df64 guys first of all if you're still here listening to my rambling that means you like the video so click like and subscribe if you haven't what is your experience do you have both have you compared both Am I doing something wrong? Is it just because I haven't aligned the grinder, the burrs yet? Is it that's why I'm missing? Uh, or maybe something else? Definitely, uh, please leave the comments. But for today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jack. This is my coffee show. This is my commandante. And hopefully I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye.